Michelle. I'm back in town and was thinking of grabbing a bite at our spot. I'd love to see you if you want to be seen. Okay. Fuck. If you call me ma'am one more time, I am going to pull out the small <laughs> intestine pull out. and smooch them in through your ears so that whenever you digest your food, you'll hear it and it'll make you go mad. Oh my God, okay, no more ma'ams. Okay, you win, you win. You were saying something before all of this. As I was saying. I'm sorry, but if you're gonna look so sexy, you can't possibly expect me to pay attention. Ma'am. Please don't bring up that oxygen mask analogy. It's some bullshit. What is wrong with ensuring that you can breathe before helping others? I don't need to breathe before I help somebody else breathe. Why do you think seeing him is such a bad idea? Isn't it? I mean, it's not like he's not, not gonna be in New York anytime soon. Well, seeing him again doesn't necessarily mean you'll get back together. Unless that's something you want. I wouldn't want that. But I don't know. You're here. So are you. So that's a no on the hug. Got it. Yeah. That's okay. Rome wasn't hugged in a day. Or wait. Did burn down when- Why are you here? My gravest apologies. I'll be professional from here on out, ma'am. The gallery wanted me to do another exhibit. So I came to St. Louis. Good for you. We're always trusting our gut. What if our natural inclination is towards self-destruction? Shouldn't our gut be the last thing we trust? Then what guides you? Doing the opposite of what the little voice inside your head tells you? So that seems like it can cause problems. Uh-huh. Maybe your intuition is God speaking through you. I thought you didn't believe. I don't fucking know. But there's something there that says, uh, this guy Sazerac, he's something. So, uh, see what kind of something. What? Nothing. It's just, you're here. Wasn't what I was expecting when I woke up this morning. So, how was your flight? It was fine. Not much going on. It's not fair. We were the fourth largest city in the country. Only a St. Louisan would brag about being fourth We have best. the oldest botanical garden, the second oldest symphony orchestra. I mean, the arch is the tallest monument in the country. Forest Park is twice the size of Central Park, and we hosted the best World's Fair of all time. Chicago might have something to say about that. Chicago can eat a dog dick. You know, New York is pretty cool, too. Well, 
You're from Long Island, so. Hey now. I'm good, I just. We get unfairly knocked around. It's not you though. You're not St. Louis. Someone could say shit about your hometown, but they're not saying shit on you. It just feels so unfair though. We have shit. Fuck, we have more World Series titles than any other team in baseball. The Yankees have. I said baseball. If the pitchers can't hit, that's T-ball. It's okay. You're okay. I love you. Oh, this is not a you treating me kind of situation. Oh, I thought you were treating me. Guy from out of town visiting. But you know what? Sure, straight down the middle. So what are you up to after this? Fancy cocktail party with the creme de la creme of the St. Louis art scene? Well, you know, it's 10 in the morning and the cocktail party's usually winding down by now. I don't know how it all works. I'm down here with the hoi polloi. I thought the hoi polloi were fancies. Nah, we're down here in the muckety muck. You're high above. High or not, I've got nothing going on. You? I got errands and shit. But this was... Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Do your thing. This was... Nice. said the world is going to end in eight minutes. Shit. That is a serious bummer. Hmm. Eight minutes, huh? We. Oui. What shall we do with the time we have left? We could complain about how the world is going to end. Oh. I want someone who I want to talk to, who makes me laugh and think, who I want to, you know, with, who I also like to look at after said, you know, has been known, who I can partner with and grow with me as I grow, who I can also like raise kids with. I gotta find all that in all in one person. It's a lot, but what's a real alternative? One for you know, one for friending, one for partnering, and one for rearing. That's a lot of ones. I'm just saying, why I gotta do things the way someone else tells me they gotta be done? Okay. You've found a system where you can get everything you've ever wanted and more. Hit me. No, no. I'm the one who says what's wrong with the system. You're the artist. Build me a new one. And you can tell me what's wrong with it? Finally, you're getting it. <laughs> Come on, build me a system. I'll be the you know guy. <laughs> I got some time, but I gotta stop at home first. Yeah? Cool. Should I? I'll meet you there. Fuck. Hmm. 
The man who laid these bricks. What do you think you were thinking? You mean like a sense of satisfaction at the job well done, or more like fuck, now we gotta start another building? I mean, do you think about the love that we grow here? Fights, the spills, the kids. Oh shit, our kids. I forgot, do you have to feed those <laughs> things? No, the couple that was here before me. Now they had a kid. I mean, that's why they moved, but... A few months, there was a kid here. Maybe they passed by while we were here and smiled to themselves. We had a good time in that place. I hope they do too. You gotta wait outside. Okay. I'll just be a minute, I gotta change. Sure, but most people wait inside. You wanna be most people? No, it's just that I'm scared of getting mugged or skyjacked. Doesn't that usually happen on a plane? Sure, usually, but these skyjackers are conniving motherfuckers. They're always one step ahead of what you think they're gonna do. Uh-huh. Well, at least you'll have a really good story. Fine, but just when you come out, can you just please be better? I just, Excuse me? Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean better. I just, if you want to be mad at me or whatever, I get it. I totally understand. We're gonna go to the botanical garden or something. I just, I want it to be better. You've had days to get your head around this. I'm playing catch up. Have you seen tears? Have I thrown anything? Me going to breakfast? And now maybe to the botanical garden? That is better. Now, if you can be patient, you're gonna get a better better. Great day, huh? Yeah. It's okay to have a bad day. It's not bad. It's just frustrating. Why don't you tell me all about your frustrating day? Honestly, I'm okay. It's over. Done. Are you seriously still on this? I know, it is so fucked up that I want to see what's going on with my girlfriend. We were supposed to present to the city council this Monday, and they just pushed it till after the recess. That sucks. It doesn't give you more time to prepare? That is so patronizing. I didn't mean you weren't prepared. Just trying to help. Maybe don't. Right. You're the helper, not me. I, oh, that wasn't what I meant. That was shitty of me. Hey, something we agree on. It's unifying St. Louis even the right place for me to do the most good? Sometimes I feel like I'm just sitting behind a desk doing jack shit. I haven't volunteered in forever. I haven't been to a protest in forever. UST wouldn't have the money to do shit if it wasn't for the grants you're writing. But yeah, maybe it feels a little sterile, like you want to get your hands in it more. But you're not helping anyone if you work yourself to nothing. I just wish I knew I was doing the right thing. That's not how this works. 
truth is, you may never know. In part because it probably won't be solved in your lifetime. How about the kid that starts school in a couple weeks? Just what? Sorry? You're born a century too early. Try again. I forget, what's the street that always has parking on it? It probably makes more sense if we take the same car. Okay. You coming? Yep. My name is Zelza, and I'm here to say that my name is Zelza. That's what I'm saying here. I'm out here. I know people play the game. I got everything, and I got my name. I run. I fight. I stay. I go. I don't know what I'm saying. I won't go slow. I do everything, and I do a lot more. I do everything for you, and you're going to whore. I don't know. I don't know. So, so wait. Am I in the wrong? Because you do everything for me, and I still get a whore? Okay, rap about that. You good? Yeah, I'm good. This is some no-bullshit shit. I need you to be honest with me right now. How'd you get to be so perfect? When I was a baby, my mom held me by the ankle. She dipped me in the river sticks. Wait, or did I have beer dumped on me at a sticks concert? <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> I can't believe it's been a year. I know, right? It's really flown by. Yeah. Yeah. I'm flattered. I'm kind of in shock. But I love it. I love you. It's gonna be fun when I'm pretty much the reason you're famous. I'll be giving interviews 50 years from now being like, what can I say? A muse is a muse. I'll still be your muse in 50 years? If you want to be. I do. So, did going home get all your creative juices flowing? It did. I painted some pieces I'm really proud of. Hence, the show. I'd love to show you them if you want it. Oh, I mean, yeah, maybe. Did you ever finish that one? I did. It's 
kind of the main piece. How have you been? Busy saving the world? Just St. Louis. That's good, though. I guess. Sometimes it doesn't feel like much. It's hard helping the hopeless. St. Louis isn't hopeless. I didn't mean to say that you are, that you all are. What did you mean to say? What you're doing is important. St. Louis needs the help, but not more than anywhere else or less. Okay. This isn't how I wanted all this to go. My name is Cesarek, and I'm here to say the same. My name is Cesarek is what I'm here to say. Now, I might not be here every day, but when I do come to town, I have to say, yay, Cesarek is in the house. Zelza in the house. Mother Nature in the house. St. Louis is the house. Word. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> oh, did I? Yeah. Uh, I'll have to live with that. It's time. We have to go. Don't worry. We'll be back. I was driving home today. It happened again. Oh, babe. It's just... Go to call her, and then I remember. God, I wonder who has her number now. Could you tell me about her? She was always taking care of other people. Like all the aunties that couldn't or wouldn't go to the hospital. Just all the fucking time in the world for other people. I wish I had met your mom. How'd she? Heart attack when I was 20. I took the semester off to settle everything. Missed the deadline for the next semester. Plus, there were all the aunties to take care of. So I stuck around. Went to Merrimack College. Fuck you, Chicago. I know. But, like, it just is. What about your dad? They had split up when I was 10. He helped. But, like, he lives in Little Rock with a little family. You still talk to him? Every couple months. Be cool. Without the Mississippi River, St. Louis ain't shit. It made us the king shit trading post way back in the day. Mm -hmm. Gave us mud that made the best bricks in the brick business. It carved out caves that kept cold the beer of an empire. You had the caves, but you also need the influx of the Germans, who didn't just see caves, but a cooling system. You needed both. Oh, so many people just got the one. I see it all the time. My grandma was the funniest fucking woman. You must have died with her. But the 50s weren't interested in her being funny. So she was depressed all her life. Was she depressed because her brain was like, well, there's no way to be me? 
or because she was a woman out of time? I mean, probably both. Being in a place where your gifts are not only squandered, but seen as problems, it's fucking hard. I mean, we're trained to make do with what we're given. And that's not a bad thing. No, it's not, but how much is too much? Are you ready? Motherfucker, I was born ready. Three, two, one, go. This is the happiest place on earth. Fuck Disney World. I mean, how often do you get to be on a bus hanging off the side of a building? On Long Island? More often than you think. Oh. Please. I have. No, you haven't told me what's going on. If you had, we wouldn't be here. I'm feeling off like that. All of me is here. But why? Please just let me in. Into the bathroom? Either. Both. You ever feel like if you could just get out of your own way, then you'd finally be happy? <laughs> what would that even look like? Like the Buddhist ego death thing? I guess so, maybe. So you've got no ego, no sense of self, no desire. Sure, you've got peace, but what the hell else you got? I felt like when I was young, I don't know, a teenager, I was on the cusp of something, like figuring everything out. Like, I only did the right things, then I'd be happy. Aren't you happy now? On Long Island? Isn't that why you left? Honestly, I don't know why I left. And I don't think I found the thing that I was looking for. But like, there was this greater potential happiness. Then again, maybe if I keep chasing that, I will miss the happiness that I have now. I always wonder if my natural state is peace, but in trying to fix things, I bring on all the shit. Or if the shit is ingrained in me, and if I fix things, I can be better. It's probably somewhere in the middle. But how do you know the ones to keep and the ones to leave behind? Intuition, I guess. Is intuition a personal guide or tailored by society? Mm. My intuition voice feels different from my societal expectations voice. Any and all your voices sound good to me. Hmm, <laughs> that's funny. They're all telling me not to fall for your crap. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. I'm not gonna. Told ya. Mmm. Sauce. <laughs> Do you think we leave energy wherever we go? That sounds like some woo-woo shit. Not necessarily. Everything is an exchange of energy. Heat is atoms moving quickly and shit. Then are you asking if energy has a memory? Sure. Or if we leave an outlet so that when we return, we could plug back in and connect. I don't know about that, but... There's definitely places that when I return to, I can feel electricity flowing through me. When I see the arch, I get one of those kinds of smiles where you feel your whole cheeks. So what's that? 
Why does my brain decide that that spot, without fail, I get overwhelmed with happiness, but not other spaces that have just as much history? You must have left some sort of emotional trail of breadcrumbs. I guess so. I just wish I had more control over it. There's something nice about being at the whims of the winds of your brain. Sure. Until it's a hurricane. Where the fuck were you? I'm sorry. We were supposed I know. to. Okay. No, it's not okay, okay? I texted, I called. I didn't know if you were dead or not. You thought I was dead? You don't show up to the movie. Okay, fine. No answer? Maybe your phone died. But then I come home and nothing. I checked in with Thomas, and he said he talked to you two hours ago and that you even mentioned the movie. And then you didn't come home. I thought you might have been in an accident, so I started driving around looking for you. I didn't die. What the fuck? Or are you just not gonna fucking say anything? I went to the movies. I was in the parking lot but I couldn't get out of the car. I saw you standing there, waiting for me, but I just couldn't get out. Why? I was thinking about you, how I hadn't seen you since this morning, and what if during that time, something in your brain went off and you thought, wait a second, I can do so much better. Are you serious? You ever go to a movie and you're in it and you hear an explosion in the theater next to you and you realize that there's a room full of people, a wall away, watching something completely different, listening to something completely different, feeling something completely different. And you don't know them, they're just a person on the street or they're your childhood sweetheart. And what have they been doing for the last 20 years? What will you do in your next 20 before you're a wall away from them again? I don't want to die not having done something. That's... a lot. Are you mad? Yes and no. But some yes. Yeah. It can't just be your anxiety or whatever you felt was real. I drove the route you would have taken home looking for an accident. That was real to me too. But I'm also sorry for what you went through. I wish you felt you could have said something. I guess it's probably not as easy as all that. I wish you would see a therapist. That's your answer for everything. It's always a fucking therapist. Why don't you see one, huh? You're right. I probably should see someone. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't. How about you worry about your shit? I'll worry about mine. Most people don't not see a movie because they're worried they'll die someday. Maybe they should. Is that what you really believe? I can't see a world where someone can help. I know what's wrong. I just need to be better. Okay. 
that a real okay or is that a shutting down okay? I mean, I want you to get help. And you think the help won't help. There's not a whole lot more to it, is there? No, I guess not. Are you mad? Yes and no. Are you mad? Yes and no. was Mill Creek Valley. A place where? 20,000 black folks got kicked out of their homes. Thank God we got all this. St. Louis has never known what to make of its blackness. You ready for the word? Well, you got the Osage people living and loving here on the river Mississippi. La Clise and Chateau and a whole mess of French come. But actually, everything's copacetic, till it's not. Once we become the hottest thing on the edge of the world, the city starts to get greedy. Why should the county partake in all our splendor? This is ours, motherfuckers. So they split from the county. My taxes are mine, and don't nobody give a fuck about your taxes. And everything's copacetic. Till it's not. Red lines come down and tell us where we can, <laughs> mostly can't live. When we do go to those places, the white take flight. Or places like Mill Creek Valley are deemed too dangerous, so they kick out 20,000 black folks. And sure, violence goes up, but what do you expect when you make us so poor we can't afford nothing else? And when you kill Michael Brown, yeah, we gonna burn shit to the ground even when what we're burning is all we got. But I honestly believe if you bring the city and the county back together and spread that sweet tax money around, mm. St. Louis can be a gateway to more than just the West. You feel me? So I'm 18, and I think I am the hottest shit to hit the fan. I bet you were a heartbreaker. I had this boyfriend. Ugh. Love of my fucking life. Like, in the way that you kind of just can't feel after a certain age. Great. I'm so glad I met you after that certain age. <laughs> so we'd had sex a couple times, and I thought it was great because it didn't hurt. And I'd given him a couple blowjobs. All at the same time? Oh, yeah. I got a good deal on him. Too good to pass out. Steal's a steal. <laughs> And I get this wild and crazy thought that I might just want him to do the same thing to me. One night, my mom isn't home, and he comes over, puts on his miner's hat. Please tell me he actually did that. Can I tell a fucking story? Sorry. And he descended into the abyss. Let's just say he tried his very best, but he did not strike. You did not exclaim, Eureka! <laughs> he got so frustrated and yelled that I, I don't know, that it was all my fault. I was a slut for wanting it, but also that something was wrong with me for not liking it. Then my mom came home. She was just so shocked. I don't think she realized that I was having sex yet. Just so fucking shocked. And she yelled at me too. That really fucked me up for a long time.
This is where my mama grew up. What happened? People move. And other people come and take the bricks. I mean, there are places like this all over the north side. I bet it used to be so beautiful. Still is. It's just different. I'm gonna do something with this. Someday. Finishing up culinary school, pastrying it up at the patisserie. She happy? I think so. Seems like she found herself. That's great. Yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting to tell you. Do you remember that young couple who lived a couple doors down? The Bosnian one? No, Korean guy in White Cow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I ran into the Korean guy in New York. What? Yeah, yeah, we were at a party and St. Louis came up. I was like, I used to live off King's Highway. He said, me too, on lawn. I was like, no fucking way, wait. And you remembered each other. Kinda, I remembered their setup and he had. Huh. And now, uh, where's she at? Don't know, they'd broken up. Babe, what the? All right, please, just go back to your party. Our party? Sure, sure. What? I just can't. Okay? So just, you should go have some fun. Please talk to me. Please. Sazerac, I can't help. Well, maybe you just can't fucking help. Okay? What the fuck did I do that was so wrong? You didn't do anything. I mean, to get me in this state, but in this moment- Trying you... to help? That's what the fuck my problem is? Fine, you wanna fucking know? Yes, I fucking wanna know. You've had this whole life without me. What? You've been on this planet for 34 years and I didn't know any of that. All of your friends, they had their own lives. Denise was in Afghanistan. Tiffany lost a baby. How do you even exist after that? All of this stuff has happened and it will continue to happen after all of this. After all of what? You'll have a whole life after we're over. Maybe there won't be an after us? Yeah, well. There always is. How can two people that love each other when they're 36 still love each other when they're 63? Don't let your anxiety get a hold of you. Push it the fuck away. All I know is saying it's too hard now because it might be too hard later is Shit. I know. But do you care? I care. It's just... Why can't you just drop the stuff that we don't know, you know?
know it's silly, but I think the city is one of the greats. All it is, all it can be, what it was, <laughs> what I wish it weren't. You ever think about what you would have done differently? I know I shouldn't ask that question. No, it's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's stuff, yeah. Like what? You go first. There's just a lot that I'm sorry about. A lot I didn't do, a lot I did. The did you did could have been worse. And then did and I didn't? No. That could have been better. <laughs> it wasn't all you, you know? I know. Or I'd hoped. But the you part of it. If you'd done the exact same shit, but I had been better, we could have found a way through it. Let's say we flipped it. I don't think there was any more that you could have done to see us through my shit. The fact that you... That means a lot. Thank you. Hasn't been too heavy on you, has it? A little bit. I'm trying to figure out my part in things. What was really me and what just felt like me. How to grow. <laughs> what to change. What to keep. I hope there's a lot you're keeping. What if we tried something? I told you, those extendrous strap-ons chafe. Not like that, but also like nothing I've done for you chafes. What I'm saying is, in the future, when we feel a fight coming on, what if we try one of those cooler heads prevail kind of things where one of us picks up an invisible telephone And calls the big bad wolf. Uh huh. And then the other one answers as the big bad wolf. And the first person lays out all their stuff to this neutral third party. The big bad wolf. Yeah. I mean, can't hurt to try. Isn't it a little cold for... Trust me. It's so fucking good. How is it so good? I worked here when I was in high school. I still don't know. I had no idea this was a part of your life. I know, right? I would have thought it would have come up. Yeah. Maybe it did. What do you mean? Well, I was just reading something. I don't remember where. Of course. About how memory is really more creation. Like, say you're thinking of an old picture of when you were a kid. It's not like that picture is stored somewhere deep in your memory bank. But each time you're like, okay, let me think about that picture, you're actually recreating that picture. Fuck, so what? It's kind of like paint by numbers? There's a blueprint of how it's supposed to be each time. That's why some memories feel the same every time. Mm, I guess so but it's also how the memories are different. 
Maybe like building a puzzle where occasionally you lose a piece and the other pieces have to smoosh in to fill in the gaps. If you're right, then how can you trust anything? But what I like about it though, is that it makes us the artists of our own path, which in turn makes artists us- Artists of our future as well. Yeah. Yeah. Something up? No. Seriously? I'm just feeling off. Does it have anything to do with your stepdad? I wish I hadn't told you that. Sometimes I feel shitty because I feel shitty, not because I was conditioned to by a fucking alcoholic. Of course, and we'll figure. Not a figuring out thing. I just feel empty. That's that. I mean, you haven't been sleeping well lately. I don't say anything, and you get upset. I say something, and you get upset. I'm not saying it's only that, but sleep, food, and water. Such a those... fucking expert. Ring, ring. Ring ring. Is the big bad wolf home? You know, I actually have to stop by the gallery. Do you want to come with? Or I could just... No, I'll, let's do it. What? Have you seen anyone since? Are you really asking me that? I don't have to be if you don't want me to. I mean, do you want to know? And that sounds like a yes. It is. How's that feel? I mean, fair, but not great. Good. Good. I mean, I don't know. I, part of me still wants to hurt you. And then I feel bad for hurting you. You see anyone? Nope. Why not? I haven't met anyone I like as much as I like you. That's too bad, because I met a bunch of guys who I like better. Oh, I'm kidding! <laughs> Come on! That was a little funny. Maybe I should <laughs> just walk. If you want. I don't want. Normally I'd be against like a plum and an apricot getting in bed together, but when the baby is as fun to say as pluot, I am on board. Say it with me, pluot. Babe, 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 babe. Pluot. No, say it with joy. Sorry, look, the cards are up three in the eighth. Oh. Can we watch the end of the game? Oh, you, you say it stresses you out when they play the cubbies. If we watch the end of this game, I will say Pluot with all of the joy you can stand. Don't you trade sex for baseball. What? Happens all the time. That's what Field of Dreams is about. Is there any other way to interpret if you build it, they will come? Fine, fine. <laughs> Let's go watch a big bird destroy a little bear. Yeah! Ugh. This was why I didn't want to watch the cards game. Who lets off a walk-off Grand Slam to the fucking Cubs? They should have fucking done better. I know, I know. Let's just go home, okay? They fucked it up! Yeah. They fucked it up.
Can we just go home already? Open your eyes. I love you. It's beautiful. What the fuck is it about? I wouldn't have added the fuck, but uh, yes. I mean, okay, I spend a few minutes with the piece, maybe an hour if I'm really enthralled. But you worked on this piece the entire time that we were together. It's not as cut and dry as that swipe there talks about my issues with my dad or that swoop represents my thoughts on what really happened on 9-11. For me, painting is when I feel calm. I like to think that it's when I get out of the way and the universe comes through me. You pick up some of that alchemy, add some of your own stuff. So, you spend a minute with it now, but maybe it finds a home in my soul. It's with me for longer than the time you spent painting it? Hopefully. You know, I send it out in the world and I don't know if it's me anything to anyone. I want to believe that it sends a report back, even if I don't know the person or when the person is. What, like Emily Dickinson felt the imprint of her work even though she wasn't alive when it was read? I want to believe that anyways. It's fuel to keep you going. On those days when she was like, why the fuck am I doing this? Whatever the oomph is that gives her the push in the present is the reverberations of joy that you experienced when you read her poetry yesterday. I hope you're right. Because that really sounds nice. See that flower right there? Boom. That's God. So if I crush that sucker, no more creator. You toppling the kingpin. No, but that lady's beautiful. Full of grace. I see the grace. Why has God got to be a part of it? Just is. I don't know. I mean, if people can be good without God, why we need God? I mean, plenty of people who shine in God's light do so with hatred. I'm talking about God. You're talking about religion. That shit's different. In the past, so much of a person's inner life was in concert with God. So much of art as well. Now, we don't really have that. Do you honestly think that we're better off? Okay. What do you mean when you say God? I don't know. But there's something out there, something here, that connects all of us, that shines down on all of us. I don't feel God shine. So I'd rather believe there's no light at all than that she just chose not to aim it at me. It never really shines on me, neither. But I still like to believe it's out there. Uh, you remember when 
oh, we are not dancing on the table. I think there was more of you trying your damn just to fall off the table and me trying mine to keep you on. Is that not what dancing is? <laughs> You know when you have a thing of string and you turn it the wrong way and it just splits and uncoils and then becomes a fucking mess? I'm sorry. Don't be. It's good. I'm, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted you to know. Shall we get drunk? Please. You were right. The club would have been too much. Everything feels like it's at its full potential. The couch is at the apex of its softness. All you need is a couch. All you need is a couch. What? I was just agreeing with you. Cool. I just had a crazy thought. Hmm. What if we went home? <laughs> All right. I know we're high, mm. but that is some real high talk. We are home. No. Home, home. Babe, you can't fly back to Long Island right now. I don't think they land on your street. I mean, I think I want to move back home. For what? <laughs> like a while? I want you to come with me. But your home's not home for me. It could be. Or you could be home right here. Could be, but it isn't. Maybe you won't let it be. Whatever the reason why it isn't home doesn't change the fact that it isn't. Well, maybe if you change the why, you could change the isn't. But I guess you don't want to try, huh? I can't feel home. I don't think that's a here thing. I, 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 I think that's a, that's a here thing. We can fix you up right here. Good as new. We haven't been able to so far. I can if you let me do it the way I wanna. Give me three months. Do everything exactly how I tell you. I'll even pray to your flower god. I can get your mind right. If you could have done it by now, you would have. I have tried no. so hard. No. No. It's not a can you fix me thing. It's a can I be fixed thing. And whichever here it is as of now. It's no. I need you. shut this place down. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go next? You're my guide. You don't hear Virgil being like, yo, Dante, we're going to spin around purgatory next or what? Oh, so you're saying where in hell are you? You know what I meant. Sorry, I didn't do this in rhyme. We just did glutton the shit out of this place. We barely ate anything. 
Uh, we, we need to go to... Stop uh, it. Stop. What? Stop. It. Stop. You gotta go? I don't have to go. You wanna see the old place? Is it a mess? It's gonna kill me if it's a mess. A mess is relative. I'll just close my eyes. And then you'll trip over everything. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe I'm not the one for you, and maybe you're not the one for me. And maybe that's okay. That we had something really fucking special. And that's more than enough. I don't just want to leave it there. I think the timing just didn't line up. But I'm better. I'm going to therapy. Going? Gone. More than once? I didn't like the guy. I, but I'm looking for another. I'm proud of you for trying it. I know that couldn't have been easy. Look, I know I just tossed this in your lap. I get it, of course, I can't move in here. That was unfair of me. It'll take time to build things back up. I am building things back up. Me too, that's what this is. I don't think your stuff should be based on me. I guess yours isn't on me, huh? It's not an on you or not on you thing. It's an on me thing. I know I had a hard time letting you in before, but I'm ready for- Me to take care of you? Don't say it like that. I don't mean for it to hurt you. It is what I wanted back then. Bullshit back then. It was a year ago. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to be better. Then let's try together. Look how I've grown in a year. Can you imagine the old me coming to you this open? I honestly can't. And I am happy for you and proud of you, but we are not on the same trip. So you're on this growing journey. But what happens if you don't end up where you want to go? And you slide back into being you. Then you could have missed this amazing thing we have. Why not try both? You're right. I'm not there yet. And I don't know if I'll get there. And if I don't, and I threw away all that we had, I will be devastated. But this is the first time I am focused on me. And I feel like that's probably something I need to do alone. Do you ever feel like your whole life is hanging on a moment? And if, and if you don't do it right, then everything thereafter is just Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Big Bad Wolf speaking. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Oh. Oh, Mr. Wolf? That was my father. You can call me Big Bad. How can I help you? There's this guy who I love more than I have ever loved anyone. And he's asking me this question. Every time he asks me, it gets harder and harder to breathe. I don't think he realizes that saying no to him is killing me. If he asks me again, I'll say yes. 
and I'll be able to breathe for a moment. But that yes is gonna drown me. Even if you love him. Oh. Because I love him. I wish the timing didn't work this way, but I can't take care of him until I fix me. And I can't fix the bus and drive it at the same time. And you want me to tell this guy all of that? No. Just ask him what matters more to him. Loving me. We're being loved by me. Okay.